To close my remarks, I would like to address several challenges that span the globe. I already mentioned the increased use of cyber capabilities by nefarious actors, but we must be mindful of the proliferation of other threats, beginning with weapons of mass destruction. In addition to nuclear weapons, we have heightened concerns about chemical and biological weapons. We assess that North Korea, Russia, Syria, and ISIS have all used chemical weapons over the past two years, which threatens international norms and may portend future use. The threat from biological weapons has become more diverse as they can be employed in a variety of ways and their development is made easier by dual-use technologies. We expect foreign governments to expand their use of space-based reconnaissance, communications, and navigation systems, and China and Russia will continue training and equipping their military space forces and fielding new anti-satellite weapons to hold U.S. and allied space services at risk. Space has become the new global frontier, with competition from numerous nations. Terrorism remains a persistent threat and in some ways is positioned to increase in 2019. The conflicts in Iraq and Syria have generated a large pool of skilled and battle-hardened fighters who remain dispersed throughout the region. While ISIS is nearing territorial defeat in Iraq and Syria, the group has returned to its guerrilla warfare roots while continuing to plot attacks and direct its supporters worldwide. ISIS is intent on resurging and still commands thousands of fighters in Iraq and Syria. Meanwhile, Al-Qaeda is showing signs of confidence as its leaders work to strengthen their networks and encourage attacks against Western interests. We saw this most recently in Kenya as Al-Shabaab attacked a hotel frequented by tourists and Westerners. Lastly, the speed and adaptation, excuse me, talking too fast. Lastly, and this is important because both the chairman and vice chairman have stated this and it's something that I think is a challenge to the IC and to the American people. The speed and adaptation of new technology will continue to drive the world in which we live in ways we have yet to fully understand. Advances in areas such as artificial intelligence, communication technologies, biotechnology, and material sciences are changing our way of life. But our adversaries are also investing heavily into these technologies, and they are likely to create new and unforeseen challenges to our health, economy, and security. Mr. Chairman and Mr. Vice Chairman and members of the committee, uh, this uh, becomes a major challenge to the IC community to stay ahead of the game and to have the resources directed toward how we need to address these threats to the United States. We look forward to spending more time discussing this issue as both of you have raised. Uh, with that, I'll leave it there. Um, we look forward to answering your questions uh, about these and other unmentioned threats. This advertisement was authorized by Mike Webb.